to check yourself before you tech yourself and to stay human in a digital world. So from a kind of bigger level and a philosophical level, some of the things that we can do, as I've mentioned, is to demand ethical technology design that honours your time, your attention and your safety. Uh, I think we really need to uh, teach digital and media literacy as well as digital citizenship in really meaningful ways and not just to young people, not just to the screen agers or the digital natives, but um, to us as adults because we haven't had any lessons in this. This is as new for us as it is to young people. And, and when I talk about that, I talk about embedding that in a meaningful way. And meaningful isn't just about having a guest speaker that comes in and sort of wows you with all of this information, but actually part of the curriculum and part of the responsibility of all teachers should be to role model and rehearse the strategies. From a more practical or individual level, um, I talk about applying the three M's of digital nutrition, which is mindful, meaningful and moderate, um, to the approach um, that you take with interacting with your devices. But actually, you can apply this to all of your life if you were more mindful, if you engaged more meaningfully and more moderately. Um, with and, and that's kind of the outrage bit, you know, you moderated how you responded. It could actually be really um, positive for our well-being. I think we really need to work out what our goals are, what our big intentions and dreams are, and invest more time and energy in learning about what's stopping you from achieving these. Maybe we need to get comfortable with ourselves again. Notice how we medicate ourselves against being present to those inner thoughts in the interstitial moments, at the supermarket, in the queue, you know, waiting in a bar, and reclaim those moments of solitude. Practicing authentic self-care instead of toxic positivity also might be one of the solutions. This is the type that um, might take you to uncomfortable places or make you feel a little bit icky, but that leads to personal growth. And develop, in addition to that, to develop a community of face-to-face -face humans that you meet with and talk to about this messy life stuff. I think we really need to protect fiercely our sleep spaces to set digital sunsets and not ironically use apps and software to help you if you need to. I do not believe that we need to buy those analog alarm clocks though, they are a pain in the neck. Remember how you had to tap through that? And they go off on Saturday when you did want to sleep in, not the way to go. Um, you can digitally declutter. Um, we've talked about Cal's work in digital minimalism. Rearrange the most distracting apps into a folder away from the home screen. Label it something like, please go write your thesis instead. Better yet, delete them off your phone. Take your phone into grayscale. Take away all those colours and shiny notifications and beeps. See how long you go. <laughs> Remind yourself how you lived in those golden years before the internet was part of your daily life assert the right to disconnect, like the French have done, get your work email off your phone. Email is like an eternal zombie. You think you've killed it off, but the next morning it's right risen again. Never ever apologise for brevity in emails. <laughs> in fact, make a habit of making them short. Life is too short for long emails. Finally, one thing in terms of just the capacity that our brains are trying to work at, use a digital, um, use a password manager to not only create watertight passwords, but also capture the myriads of places that you've left your digital footprint. It takes the stress out of remembering which combination of pet and share house you used for your passwords. Finally, I'd suggest that you start a journal the kind of journal that I kept as a 16-year-old and standing here as a 41-year-old still keep on a semi-regular weekly-ish basis. Capture all those inner thoughts purposely um, and as if no one is ever going to read them. Thank you.